came up with that one. I'm going to give you one. How about presentation skills? What does that mean? That's different than product knowledge. That's our ability as a salesperson to present, okay, in a way that keeps people engaged, interested, involved, all right? That's the piece that Gordon believes is so important, and that's the enthusiasm that we have in the house, right? Okay? But our presentation skills. Here's a really neat thing to do. Go home tonight and put on a late-night talk show host. I don't care who it is, all right? David Letterman or whoever. And here's what I want you to do. Turn it on, nice high volume for about 60 seconds, and then hit mute. And I want you to watch the person and see how animated they are, okay? What is their body language, all right? When you watch my demo, I want you to, every once in a while, put it on mute, and I want you to watch my body language. You could probably watch the whole entire demo, okay, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, of me and get the gist of what I'm doing because I use a lot of body language throughout the presentation, okay? But that's just one presentation skill. Let me give you another one. When you go in a home and you meet with someone that's very timid and kind of quiet, okay, and you walk in and you're very boisterous and loud and stuff like that, would that be a good presentation skill? No. No. See, we have to learn as salespeople to match people's energy, all right? If I go in and, and I meet someone that is uh, very boisterous and so on and so forth, well, I'm very quiet and timid and meek. Well, I'm probably pretty boring to them, right? Yeah. So that's a presentation skill. How do we develop those? Well, we could do hours and hours, you guys, honestly, of advanced training on just how to be a expert at persuasion. See, we could almost change this to persuasion skills. Mm -hmm. people skills. Okay? Is learning how to ask questions or people skills. Okay? Here's a good book. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Yeah. It's the grandfather of all motivational books. Okay? One of the things that we're doing in our team leader is we're reading a book right now called No Excuses. I've got it right back there. Okay? Why are we doing that? So we can develop some skills as, a, as, as team leaders for you guys, okay? And we want you to come on, be on that team too eventually, okay? But uh, Charles Schroeder, his team's been getting together every week, okay? He's a big satellite now in, uh, in California. His team leaders get together every week and they read a chapter or two and they talk about it in the book that they're reading right now is Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He talked about it on our conference call on Friday. So how are you going to develop your persuasion skills, your presentation skills? Well, let me give you number five. How about prospecting and contacting? What does that mean? Generating leads and booking appointments. See, if you can't generate a lead and book an appointment in our business, you're dead. It's like a vital function of your body. If you don't have it, you can have all the rest. But if you can't generate a lead and get an appointment and, and show up at somebody's home, you can have a great attitude. You can have all the, the product knowledge. You can know how to persuade people. You can uh, feel good and look sharp and all that kind of stuff. But if you can't prospect and you don't know how to pick up a phone and book an appointment, in our business, you're dead. But let me ask you a question. If you did more prospecting and more contacting, if you spent more time generating leads and on the phones, do you think that your presentation, your persuasion skills would get better? Yes. Because one of the best ways to learn is to practice. It's just to practice. And what's the best place to practice? In front of a lot of customers. In front of somebody. Okay? It's, now, this is good, too. It has its place. Okay? Because we can't go in the home and do this, right? Okay? But prospecting and contacting is important, right? And if we improve that, then maybe 
we go out and we uh, sell more, right? And when we sell more, how's our attitude? Positive. Positive, right? And then do we want to learn more persuasion skills? See how all these things work together, yeah. I believe also prospecting and contacting will actually build confidence. Okay. And I might not remember all these because I'm now I'm getting out of it. I know I remember the last one. <laughs> okay. Knowing your customer. I'm gonna go right down here. <laughs> Time management. This is such a vital skill in our business. If you can't manage your time, because mm -hmm. most of the people that are here in Rainbow are here part time. That means that you have something else to do with your time. Okay, uh, Dave, what time do you go to work? 